Now we're going to talk about assessing deep tendon reflexes, otherwise called DTRs, in a pregnant patient. In pregnant women, we need to assess DTRs for a couple of reasons. One, if they come in with high blood pressure and we're worried about a hypertensive disorder of pregnancy, we need to see if they're hyperreflexive. If they're hyperreflexive, they could be getting to that stage where they're likely to become eclamptic and have seizures. So we want to assess DTRs on any hypertensive patient. Second, if they're on magnesium sulfate, which they can be on magnesium for either hypertensive disorder or for preterm labor, you'll get that in lecture. If they're on mag sulfate, it can suppress their deep tendon reflexes and they become hyporeflexive. Hyporeflexia is okay up to a point. We want to make sure they're not getting so hyporeflexive that they are going to stop breathing. So we want to monitor their DTRs to make sure they don't decrease their respiratory rate or stop breathing. So we have handouts for you to look at stacked on the bed and you can look through those as you practice DTRs on each other. Now I'm going to just give you some examples. So the brachioradialis is right here. You can do it on your thumb or on the patient. It's like it's going to hurt the patient less if you do on your thumb. And that's the brachioradialis. The biceps is right in here. And you can see the arm jump. Biceps. There it is. And then the triceps, you can lay the arm across their lap and have it, if it's relaxed that way, and do it like that, and the arm will jump. You can also do it with their arm relaxed over your hand and do it this way. And her hand is jumping. It will reflect itself in different ways on different patients, and some reflexes are easier to get than others. It takes practice to get these, so do not feel like you are getting it wrong. Practice on different people. Some people are more reflexive than others. The patellar reflex uh, is just, you should know the patellar is just down here. If we do it on, Noel, on a patient in bed, we will do hang their arm, their leg over our arm and tap it that way because usually these patients are going to be in bed. We can show you on Noelle, and you would have her leg draped over your arm, and you would just hit it like this. So those are your deep tendon reflexes that you're going to assess. Practice, and let us know if you have any questions.